Hi, I'm Tanisha and you're watching this video with JustTutors.com. Today we are going to learn about integers and in this video we'll first learn some properties of subtraction of integers and then we'll learn about additive identity. So before we move on to the topic, let us try some warm-up questions first. If you want to try the question by yourself, you can pause the video and match your answer later. So question number one, compare the following pairs of numbers using greater than or less than sign. So 9 is greater than 8 and likewise minus 15 is less than 12. Let's come to question number 2 that says what is minus 34 at 45. So the answer for this would be 11 and likewise we can try question number 3 that says 56 at negative 36. So the answer would be 20. Pat your back if you've got all the answers absolutely correct. Now let's move on to the topic and learn some properties first. So the first property is closure property. That means that integers are closed under subtraction. That says that if you are doing a minus b, then the result is an integer where a and b are also the integers. Let's have an example on that. So let's say we are trying to do minus 6 take away 2, where minus 6 and 2 both are integers, we know that. Then the answer for this is going to be minus 8, which is again an integer. Let's come to the next one, which is commutative property. So the subtraction of two integers is not commutative. That means if you are doing a minus b, let's say a and b are two integers, and then you are doing if a minus b, then it would never be equal to b minus a. Let's choose two integers for a and b. Let's say a is 4 and b is minus 6. So 4 take away minus 6 is 10. However, minus 6 take away 4 is minus 10. So the integers are not closed under commutative property. Now let's come to next property which is associative. So the subtraction of integers is not associative in general. We can say that a take away b take away c is not equal to a take away b take away c. So let's put some integers for a, b, c. 3 take away 5 take away 7 is not equal to 3 take away 5 take away 7. Because the left hand side would give us 5 and the right hand side would give us 9 which are not equal. Now these were the properties. Let's move on to the additive inverse now. So additive inverse of a number is the number which when added to it gives you 0. So in general we just need to reverse the sign of the integer to get to its additive inverse. Uh, let's have a look on some example. So if we, want, if, we, if we are at 10 and we want an answer as 0, so we need to add minus 10 to it to get to the 0. So it means additive inverse of 10 is actually minus 10. Likewise, if we are at minus 10 and again we need to get an answer of 0, we need to add 10 to it. So the additive inverse of minus 10 is 10. Likewise, for 7 to 6, it's going to be minus 7 to 6 and for 0, it's going to be 0 only. So the additive inverse to a positive number is negative number and the additive number to a negative number is positive number. Now, we've got some practice questions for you. So you can try the questions by yourself and don't forget to match your answers right here. Thank you for watching the video. For more, please log on to justutors.com.